Take a moment to notice this starting point. How you feel physically, mentally, energetically. I'm not trying to adjust anything or fix anything. I'm just noticing and becoming aware. As you start to connect to that space inside, notice how the mind, the breath, and the pulse of your breath, and the movement in your body, begins to synchronize. And you feel this beautiful connection between the three. and how this connects to the world outside of you. And allow this connection to be the guide of your practice this morning. If it feels appropriate for you, bring your hands to your heart center. You can take a moment now to connect all of that to your intention. What or who you make this effort for, the effort in your life for. What do you pour your heart into? Who or what do you do this for? Remember it can be self-directed. And then take a little internal bow to your heart space and blink your eyes open. And then inhale, circle your arms overhead. Blink your fingers and stretch your palms up towards the sky. Drop your right hand down and side stretch to the right. So if your hands don't come to the floor, you can bring it on your block. And then inhale, come up through the center. Bring the left hand down and side stretch to the left. And again, inhale, come up through the center. Drop the right hand down and side stretch to the right. Maybe you can start to walk your right hand a little over to the right and move your hips slightly to the left. And again, inhale, come up. Drop it to the left and side stretch to the left. Inhale, come up through the center and come into extended child's pose. Walk your fingers forward and look ahead to begin with. Create a lot of length through the whole side of your body. And then let your head go, but stay on your fingertips. So keep your arms buoyant and feel now the breath in the back of your body. <clears throat> and then from there, place your hands flat and come up onto your hands and your knees. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, take it back into child. Let your head go. Round your spine and come back up onto all fours. Inhale. Exhale, lift your chest and sink your hips back. Again, inhale, round. And exhale, sink back. Inhale, round your spine, come up. Bring the left hand down, so something like this. And crawl your right, uh, left hand, sorry. Crawl your right hand forward, then bring your forehead onto your left forearm. And keep crawling your right hand forward. And then place your right hand flat, and bring the left hand to meet your right. Hug your chest down, and crawl forwards onto your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, cobra. And exhale, release. One more. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, release. Place your hands flat. Inhale, come up onto all fours. 
and shift back into extended child again. Just one breath here. Inhale, roll back up onto your hands. Right hand now comes down, forearm. Extend your left arm forward, then bring your forehead onto your right forearm. And breathe into the whole right side of your body, your elongating, your sideways forwards and your hips back. Then place your left hand flat, look ahead, bring your right hand to, to the front and start to pump your chest down for a moment. So as you're starting to open now, don't force this yet. And then slowly come onto your belly, untuck your toes, and inhale, climb up cobra. And exhale. <coughs> inhale, climb up cobra. And exhale. One more, cobra, and come down. Place your hands flat by your chest. Inhale, come up onto all fours. Curl your toes under and come into downward facing dog. Breathe in. So again, once you hit down dog, see what you need. You can be still. Sometimes you just feel like feeling everything from the inside. Micro movements happening through your breath. Or you can pedal your legs, you're pedaling. Notice how you feel in the sideways as you do this. And move with your breath. And then still the legs. And think about moving the shoulders. So lift your shoulders up, wrap your shoulders around your back. Breathe in. Exhale, start to walk your hands back towards your feet. As your heels come down to ground, start to move your hips more back, bend your knees a little and walk your hands more forwards and then let your head go. If your hamstrings feel really comfortable, you can start to straighten your legs, but keep a micro bend and focus on extending the mid back forwards. But your hips are behind your heels. Breathe in. And down. Then drag your hands by your feet and inhale, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Stretch up, look up. And exhale to stand. Bring your feet hip distance apart, so this hip, the outer hip. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down onto your hips. And look ahead. You're going to stand on the right leg, and the flow looks like this today. Inhale, lift your left knee up. You can stay here or extend the left leg straight. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your right knee and you're gonna step forwards with that left leg. Heel, toe, and then transfer the weight into the left leg and inhale, take the right leg back. For the first one, reach your arms alongside your body and square your hips. Breathe in. Exhale, bend the left knee slightly and inhale, lift the right knee up. Lift your arms up, and again, as you step forwards, heel, toe, arrive, bend your right knee, and inhale, take the left leg back. Arms come alongside your body. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round your spine, pull your knee into your navel, and cross your arms in front of you. And then inhale, drop the left foot down, and reach your arms overhead. Stretch up, look up. Exhale, fold forward again. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back, plank, chaturanga. Exhale, upward dog or cobra. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. So, the, the plank, chaturanga, upward dog, down dog. Let's call that a connecting vinyasa. That's optional, so if you're starting to Feel your wrist if there's too much of that. Please just come into down dog or if you need to rest in child's pose. Please do so. Breathe in. Exhale the breath. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Push away if you can. Keep your spine elongated. Keep your hands forward. Sink your hips back. Reach the chest forwards. Lengthen the side of your body. Wrap your shoulders under and extend the mid back forwards. 
Drag your hands by your feet and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Stretch up, look up. Arrive in Tadasana. Exhale, the breath. Feet hip distance apart if you're not already there. Inhale, lift. Lift your arms, sorry. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Lift your right knee up. Stand on your left. Stay here or extend the right leg straight. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your left knee. Heel it arise. Roll into the ball of your foot. Transfer the weight and inhale, take the left leg up. Bring your arms alongside your body. Warrior three, breathe in. Exhale, bend your right knee. And inhale, bring your left knee up. Stretch up. Exhale, heel. Ball, toe. Inhale, take the right leg back. Exhale, round your spine. Bring your knee to your navel. Hug. Drop your right foot. Inhale, lift your arms. Stretch up, look up. Exhale, fold, fold down. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands down, step or jump. Don't forget to alternate your legs as you're stepping. Chaturanga, halfway or all the way. Up with dog or cobra. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, the breath. Breathe in. And down. Mama, don't worry if the balance gets a bit more complex. Give yourself permission to be unsteady. More importantly, notice every time you go off balance. Come back to the come back to the work. Walk your hands back towards your feet. It doesn't matter how many adjustments you have to make. Inhale, halfway lift. And again, lengthen your spine. Small micro bend in your knees if your legs are starting to straighten up. Pull the top of your thighs up. Reach the hands forwards, let your head go. Breathe in. And out. Drag your hands by your feet. And inhale, straighten your legs, lengthen your spine, and legs towards straight anyway. Exhale, fold, you can soften your knees to do this. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Stretch up, look up. And exhale. Hands come onto your hips. Transfer your weight into the right foot and inhale, lift the left knee up. Stay here or extend the left leg straight. Breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna transfer off that heel, the back heel, heel. Transfer the weight into the left and inhale. Take your right leg back. This time, inhale, bring the right knee up. Pause here for a moment. Send your right leg behind you, grab your ankle. Stay upright first, inhale the breath, lengthen. Exhale, press your right foot into your hand and reach your left hand forwards. Breathe in. Exhale, let go of the right foot and inhale, lift the right knee up. Step forwards. Keep your arms alongside your body and inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, round your spine. Pull the left knee into your chest. Hug, place the left foot down and inhale. Lift your arms overhead, come upright. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump. Chaturanga. Exhale. Upward dog or cobra. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathe in. And up. Inhale. Hope you guys are doing all right. Inhale. Exhale. Nice thing about self-practice, no one is watching. <laughs> so you can have many tries. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You can be giggling to yourself. This time, place your hands by your feet. And inhale, halfway lift. So you have to lift the, the, the back of your thighs up. You can keep a micro bend. And then exhale, bring your hands behind your calves and fold forwards. Try to keep your belly on your thighs and your spine is elongating down towards your feet. Good. 
and then start to bring the weight into your feet and inhale, rise, come all the way up. Stretch up, look up. And exhale, hands come onto your waist. Start to shift your weight into the left. And inhale, kick the right knee up. Stay here or extend the right leg straight. If you're doing this, make sure you're still standing upright. Breathe in. Exhale, bend. Heel, ball toe. So I did it wrong the first time, this time. Inhale, lift your arms and lift the left knee up. Exhale, bring the left leg behind you and catch your left ankle. Inhale the breath, reach up, create length. And exhale, come halfway down. Press your foot into your hand, reach your chest forwards, reach your knee back, breathe in. Release this foot, extend the left leg back and inhale, bring your left knee up as you lift your left arm. Exhale, bring your hands by your side. Heel, ball, toe. Inhale, take the right leg back. Hold here. Exhale, bend your left knee. Round your spine. Don't come too upright. Hug. Place your right foot down and inhale, rise. Stretch up, look up. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Inhale, step or jump, chaturanga, exhale, upward dog or cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, breathe in, and up, inhale, as your legs start to open, see if you can create even more length in your spine. Breathe in. Exhale the breath. Walk your hands again, back towards your feet. And again, if you can keep everything extended. Hands come alongside your feet. Halfway lift, inhale. And again, wrap your hands behind your calves and exhale, fold. So you're not really pulling yourself down towards your leg. I mean, towards your legs that way, but down towards the floor. So you're elongating your spine. Breathe in. And down. Press into your feet and inhale, rise. Come all the way up. Stretch up and look up. Hands to heart and to your waist. Start to feel the weight again. In the right leg. Pull up. Inhale, take the left knee up. Exhale, straighten or stay here. Breathe in. Exhale, transfer weight from the right to the left, sorry, heel, ball. So I'm just doing something funky on the side because it hurts. Inhale, lift your right knee up. Exhale, sweep your right hand behind you, catch your ankle again. Inhale, the breath goes, pull up and exhale, come down. Now this time, we're going to transition. So push your foot away and keep that foot there. Release the right foot. Start to open the hip towards the right, sorry, and bring your left hand down to the floor. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobble with me as I said today. <laughs> if you have the balance, look up towards your right hand for half moon pose and maybe lift that top foot a little bit more and stretch into that right heel. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your right hand along your hip, alongside your hip, and square your hips forward. Bend your left knee. And inhale, lift your arms, lift your right knee up. Exhale, bring your hands by your side, heel, ball, toe. Inhale, left leg up. Stretch back. Exhale again. Round your spine, knee comes in. Place your foot down and inhale, unravel. Stretch up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards. Halfway lift, inhale. Step or jump, chaturanga, exhale, upward dog or cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, check in with your breath, breathe in, dive back into that in, inner retention, and out, sustain the work through your breath, inhale, Exhale, one more breath, breathe in, and down, again walk 
walk your hands back towards your feet. Some of you can actually like push up that way. <laughs> Start to push up. Halfway lift. Inhale. I'll show you in the next round. Exhale, fold. Now, you have a choice here. So you can cross your hands behind you like this and bring your fingers in front of your shins like so. Figure in and then root down towards your legs. And as you do this, push your legs into your arms to help you get a little deeper. Tip your weight slightly forwards, breathe in. Exhale, release from wherever you are. Root into your feet and inhale, climb up. Exhale, Tadasana. Hands come onto your waist. Shift your weight onto the right. <coughs> left. Inhale, lift the right knee up. Exhale, stay here or extend the right leg forwards. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your knee. Heel. Ball toe. Inhale, lift your arms and lift your left leg up. Sweep your left hand back. As you sweep that left foot back, catch your ankle. Inhale, find length. Exhale, take it into dancer pose. Push the heel away into your foot and then hold it there. Release. And then find that straight line. Start to open the hip to the left and slowly bring your hands down onto the floor or onto your block. Inhale, lift your left arm up. You can keep your gaze down if you're working on balance. And it's better to have the floor brought to you with your block or your object than to kind of um, struggle with your hands down on the floor. But bring your left hand back by your hip and square your hip. Bend your right knee, release the right hand forwards and inhale, bring the left knee up. Exhale, hands come by your side, transfer heel, ball toe and inhale, bring the right leg up behind you. Exhale, bend your left knee. Squeeze the right knee to your chest to cross. Place the right foot down and inhale, stretch up. Look up. Exhale, fold. Forward bend. Here you go. Halfway lift. Inhale. Step or jump. Turn around. Exhale. Upper dog or cobra. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathe in. And up. Inhale. Exhale. Another breath. Inhale. Exhale. So this time, I'd like you to bring your left ankle onto your right thigh like this, just above your knee, and then press your shoulders back and feel that opening in that right glute, your right outer hip. And then place your left foot down and do the same. Right ankle crosses just above your knee. Press back, wrap your right leg under and feel that opening in the whole right side of your hip, your glute. Lovely. And then place your foot back down and stretch back. Yep. So inhale, take the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, bring your arms up. And pause. So, reach up. Inhale. You're going to reach your arms forwards. Hold up the belly. Feel the weight in that right leg. It should be super warm now. Take the left leg up. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands down. And inhale, take your right arm up and twist open. Breathe in. Exhale, look forwards. Bend your right knee. You're going to lift the left knee up. Inhale, stretch up. Cross your left ankle just above your knee. I'm going to face you and show you these variations. But let's hold here for a moment. And then sink back like chair pose. This is 
my back ankle. Breathe in. And out. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Inhale, climb up. And exhale. I'm going to show you the flow first and the options so I don't disrupt, disrupt you halfway. So, if you have the ankle mobility and strength, you're going to go from here. I'm going to bring the hands down for a moment. So if you have blocks, this is nice. And this is a nice stretch. So keep your spine reaching forward. We'll have a nice stretch in your glutes. And from here, you can come down to roll onto your toes. You want to roll onto your toes like this and crawl your hands more forward so your weight is forward. And then sink down to sit on your heel like this. And from here, you can hot potato your hands up like so. And take this toe balance and extend the right leg forwards. And we're gonna roll down to sit. So that is the peak of the flow of how it looks like. So if you have um, any restriction in your ankles, it's gonna look like this. And this is super hard for me right now on this side. So I totally understand. So you're gonna come from here and you're gonna come to your blocks. Get the, get the stretch first and then check it out. See if you can come down and if, it, if, if it's not happening, come onto your toes like so with your blocks like this and see if you can bring your foot up from the ground. And you're gonna keep your hands here, transfer that way and slowly bring yourself down to sit. So these are your options. If it's not happening, if you can't put this foot up, stay here, extend and sit. Cool, let's go. So we come back to the, to the top, feet hip distance apart, and we'll start on the right side. So left ankle comes just above your right knee, lift your arms, sink your hips back. And again, hold here for a moment, breathe in and out. You're resisting, so don't drop your left hip if you can, inhale. Now reach forwards, and as you reach forwards, move your hips more back. You're on your blocks or hands on the floor. And again, feel like you're tilting the pelvis forwards, lift your chest and send your, send your inner thighs back. Breathe in, exhale. You can walk your hands forwards, start to roll onto your toes and come down into the toe stand. Hold here, if you can hot potato, bring your hands to your heart and hold. Maybe like three. Five is great. And then from here, extend your left leg forwards and slowly roll down to sit in your own way. You're gonna start to face you. From this position, take your left leg up and drop your right knee down. Inhale, lengthen. Again, this left leg can be bent. Better if you have a straight, straight back. And then push the ball of your foot forwards and lift your chest. If you're super open here, you can bring the leg all the way towards you long as you're not compromising your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And if you're really pressing the thigh bone into the back of your legs, you'll feel the length, length coming into your hamstrings and reach your heel forwards. Good. Bring your leg down a little way and give yourself a bit of space. Right hand comes to the little toe side of your left toe and extend the left arm open. Lift your lower back once you're there. Breathe in. And down. Inhale again. Kick your foot into your hand to create length and broaden your collarbones. Drop your left hand down behind you. Bend your left knee and bring your left foot in front of your ankle. Inhale, lift your right arm up and twist. The right arm can come outside of your thigh. If you're here, keep this hand active. Push into your thigh to help you lift your spine or hug your knee. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. You come back through the center. Inhale. Open twist. And inhale center. So this is from like the mobility people. I quite like this work. Lift the left foot up and keep your toes active. Shift onto the right hip and move your left knee back. 
and try to get this left shin parallel to the ground and then lengthen the right side waist and hold here. Hold, hold, hold a bit more. Send the left leg all the way back and come into pigeon pose and if you can do this with no hands, also, if you need your hands for now, go ahead, just work towards it. And then from here, pull yourself upright and bring hands to your heart. If this feels super nice for you, you can reach your arms up and some of you can probably arch back. That's not me, so I'm going to hold here. And I just want to feel the balance, the balance between strength and flexibility. So pull the legs in, lift, 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 rise, inhale. Exhale, come down into your forearms. I'll just have a look at what the comments are saying. Breathe them. And just pause for a moment. <laughs> Super. And then from here, bring the left knee up and step your right foot back. And you're in forearm plank. And for today, bring your palms together. And hold forearm plank for a moment. Pull the ribs up and towards each other. And then from here, send your shoulders back and start to walk your feet forward. Your head is not on the floor. And as soon as you start to feel your shoulders come forwards, hold it right there. Keep pressing your forearms into the floor, your elbows into the floor, and send your shoulders up and back. Pull the ribs up and towards each other, breathe in. Exhale, come down onto your knees. Sink your hips back and bring your hands onto your shoulders. You can walk your elbows more forward if that's available to you and hold it there. Another breath in, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, and then reach your hands back forward, look ahead. Come up onto your hands and your knees, curl your toes under, and send it back into downward facing dog. If you need a flow, inhale, come forwards to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog or cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, exhale, get ready, left leg rises, inhale, step your left foot forwards as you exhale, come up high lunge, hold, Good. now stretch up, feel that connection of that left foot, take a moment, reach up as you inhale, exhale, reach forwards and start to pull the ribs up, bring your right leg up as you inhale, Good. Keep your arms forward. Exhale the breath. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, drop your left hand down and start to reach the right arm up. And stretch up. Look up. Breathe in. Wrap the left buttock under. Good. Exhale. Bend both knees. Start to bring the right knee up as you inhale. Exhale, cross your right ankle just above your left knee and come for the second side. So you're going to sink, move your hips back, try to let the, the knee pop forward, flex the top foot. Bring your belly towards your shins. Breathe in. On your blocks or on your hands. If you're on your hands, tend to round the spine here, so try to create more length. And then exhale with your choice. Start to come down for the toe stand. If you can, imagine like you're trying to lift your hips off your heels and bring your hands to your heart. Hold. Hold. And then roll onto the left foot and extend the right leg forwards and sit. From here, drop your left knee down and extend the right leg up. You can shift around. Press the thigh bone into the back of your leg and start to lift your chest. Noticing where you feel any resistance. Send your attention there, your breath there. Soften that resistance to move into space. Breathe in. And out. 
And every time you feel that space come to you, lengthen the heel more forwards. Inhale. Exhale. The halfway lift. Now your left hand comes to the outside of your little toe. Extend the right arm open. So there's a tendency to pull the leg over to the left. Keep it exactly where it is. And as you stretch, lift your spine and broaden your collarbones. You can look back, kick the little toe side of your foot into your hands to create that resistance. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your right hand down behind you, push into the ground and drop your right ankle in front of your left. Inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale, arm can come outside of your thigh or you can hug and then create space. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. So your right hand is pressing into the floor to give you length. And your left arm is pulling in to give you just that little bit of squeeze into the twist. Right? Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come through the center. Open twist as you exhale. Inhale, center. Hands come forwards, move your right foot, so flex your foot. If you can, bring that knee and line with your hip, roll onto the left hip, and get this right shin parallel to the floor. Lift the waist, hold, hold, and then send it back, and come into pigeon if you can, with that your hands. You can have your toes curled or uncurled. Hands can come to your heart. I'm gonna use my hands to the side and pull your spine up as you pull the legs isometrically towards each other. Breathe in. So just as your friends, the toes curled under is more active. Untucking your toes is more passive. So there's no right or wrong. It's just what you prefer for today. Come down onto your forearms. And then bring my palms together. And then if you haven't done already, curl your back toes under, lift your knee off the floor, pull the ribs up and step back, forearm plank. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. And you want to check, you want to just check that you're not pushing your hips up towards the sky. Feel the midline. Then drive your shoulders back. Your head comes between your elbows. Walk your feet forwards and keep pressing your forearms down and forwards. And once you feel like you hit that edge again, you can have your knees bent for this. Keep driving the elbows down and forwards. Pull the lower ribs back and towards each other and up as well. Breathe in. And out. Good. Drop into your knees. Sink your hips back. You can walk your elbows more forwards if you have the space and then bring your hands up and towards your shoulder blades. Let the breath go. Lovely. And then reach your hands forwards. Look ahead. Bring the hands down and come onto your hands and your knees. Downward facing dog. Exhale. If you need a flow, inhale, roll forwards into plank. Chaturanga as you exhale. Upward dog or cobra as you inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Breathe in. And out. Good. Look forwards. You're going to step or jump your feet behind your wrist. And come down into the squat like this. So, of course, we can't complete a balance flow without balancing on our hands. So, we'll just do like one balance on the hands. And so, 
we call these like just imagine like these are your pores and there's like all these pore pads right here in your palm and it's like if you put your finger right there in your wrist at the base of your wrist there's a little gap you really want this place clear of the ground so the fingertips are squeezing into the floor so as I, as I said at the beginning of the practice it's about transferring your weight so from here let's try it this way today go really deep so bring your knees outside of your arms as best as you can and place your hands down on the floor in front of you those of you who can balance go ahead you can practice your pro pose and do any variation you like you're free to to go mad in your own home so from here as you spread your fingers and root your hands down and pull closer as you spread your fingers and root your hands down squeeze the fingertips down lift your hips and start to move your weight into your hands and again, it's just about feeling the transfer of the weight in your hands. Transfer the weight, squeeze your fingertips more down, and see if you can get one foot off, squeeze your knees in, maybe transfer more weight into your hands, and maybe the other foot pops up, and you squeeze your knees some more. So, give you another moment to try it. And again, if you took one foot off, try with the other foot also. So again, for today, let's try not to balance your knees on your arms. We'll try to do this variation where you have to squeeze your knees into your side. So if you've not tried this one before, try it so you go flatter instead of your hips lifting up. So bring your weight into your hands, squeeze, squeeze everything in, maybe one foot comes in and then squeeze a little harder and transfer the weight forwards. Maybe the other foot pops up, use your fingertips Squeeze everything to the center, step your feet down, jump back, plank, or down dog, chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra, inhale, down the facing dog, exhale, breathe in, and out, inhale, exhale. One more breath, breathe in, exhale, look forwards, step or jump forwards to sit, and here we are. So, extend the right leg out to the side. If it's possible for you to take this left foot behind you and have this opening in the side, in the side seat, go ahead. If this is horrible, bring this foot forwards again. Two options here. If this, if you're taking this knee back, make sure you curl your toes under, then move your inner thighs back. Right forearm onto your thigh or onto the floor. Inside of your thigh, use that as a lever, twist open, and then sweep this left arm alongside your ears. And if you can come to your feet, go ahead, grab. And you want to twist open towards the sky and bring your right hand maybe towards your thigh, like this. And eventually the shoulder comes down to the floor. Keep the spine long so you're not down here somewhere. You want to be open. Imagine like you're trying to lean back onto that right thigh. Breathe in. And down. Inhale. Exhale. Then one more breath. And then inhale, climb up, and exhale. So, if you have your foot here, now take it out to the side and bring this right foot in front of your thigh. So for those of you who have your knee out here, you can bring this right foot onto your groin, like this. And you're gonna take a twist open to the left. So right, left hand comes to the outside of your thigh. Sweep your right hand behind you See if you can lean forwards and catch your foot. So on this side, it's not gonna happen. Or bring your hands just around your waist like this. And then spin open. Another breath, inhale. And exhale. So inhale, come through. 
the center. Release, both legs forwards. Bend your knees and catch the outside edges of your feet. And lengthen your belly onto your thumb like this and bring your head down to your shin, like so. And then start to crawl your feet forward. And if you can maintain your head on your shin, so go as far as you can maintain your head on your shin. Now once you feel like you're starting to disconnect, stop there and gently draw yourself forward towards your feet. You're also peeling the outside edges of your feet towards you. So you feel like you're stretching your legs and the whole back body. No tension in your neck. Breathe in. And down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. If you like, cross your ankles, step or jump back. Take a vinyasa or you wait for everyone here. <laughs> So once you finish your connecting flow, come back and join us, wide legs. Do the same variation, so if you took your um, leg to the back, bring it behind you, nice and wide, or if you sit on the back, okay? Left arm comes onto your, onto your left thigh or inside of your thigh. Lengthen first, sweep your right arm alongside your ears, and if it comes to your foot, you can catch and start to pull the elbow up towards the ceiling, rotate open and sneak your shoulders down and imagine you're trying to spin like you're trying to lean your back onto your thigh. Might happen eventually. Breathe in. Maybe it's happening for some of you already. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. All the way into the whole right side of your body. And down. Great. Inhale, climb up. Again, if you had your legs the other way, bring it forward. So you're somewhere here, your knees move forward. You're going to bring the left foot in front of your knee like so. Or if you're here, try to sneak this foot on top of your groin for half lotus. Your left hand can sneak around if you can catch your foot. Go ahead. The right hand comes outside of your knee and inhale, lengthen. So a little bit of like a back bend and a twist at the same time. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, and down, might be one more breath, inhale, and exhale, Good. come through the center, open twist, reach your legs forwards, second foot fold, again, keep your knees bent first, move your sit bones slightly back, Elongate the belly onto your thigh, head comes to your shins and your knees are not moving apart from each other. They stay together and then crawl your feet forwards. And once you hit that edge, think about a whole back body stretch. So back of your legs, your spine, all the way back of your neck, the crown of your head. Inhale, pull up, and exhale. So again, if you like, take a vinyasa or hold that and wait. And we meet back in seated. So you have a choice now how you want to finish. You can finish in a headstand if you have that practice or you fancy practice practicing that today. Um, you can come into shoulder stand. And I showed you a few options about coming up from the wall. I might do a tutorial if you if you missed that. I'll do a video today on how to come up into shoulder stand using the wall. Or you can um, or you can do legs up the wall. So if you fancy a longer rest, bring the hips onto the wall and bring your legs up and arms out to the side. So if you fancy kind of practicing half a headstand, you can do that with tripod variation as well. I'll show you. So. You can go off now into your into your practice if you have if you have a preference. If you fancy trying this, hands come under your shoulders. We'll do this more in, on on Wednesday if you like some inversion, some headstand. You want to create like a triangle. So imagine there's a triangle between your hands and the crown of your head. So it's more forwards than you think. Place the head down like so. The 
lift your hips up and walk forward. You don't want to drag your knee onto your arm, pull the knee up and place your knee on top of your forearm and then see if you can bring the other knee in like so. Your shoulders are pulling off the floor. There should be no compression in your neck. If you feel compression, please come down and try this variation. And instead, what we were doing earlier with your fingers linked, getting used to putting your head on the floor and pushing your shoulders into the floor. So take it step by step. Like, don't rush with these inversions. Protect your neck. <laughs> There's only one, so you want to be like super careful. So again, if you're in that tripod, then you can try maybe like uh, one, two breaths each time you come into it. So make sure your head is a lot forward. If you see my head is super forward of so my hands, if I come here, this is like very advanced headstand. So make sure you come forwards. And again, walk, resist with your shoulders, knees come up, and eventually the knees Come to the center. And you can also try it against the wall. So I'll do a whole wall tutorial today. How to use the wall to help you stack your hips over your shoulders for, for headstand, for shoulder stand, and also for handstand. So just look out for that. Yeah. So wherever you are, you can start to make your way down. If you're in shoulder stand, um, slowly roll down onto your back. <laughs> and if you're in headstand, you come down into child's pose. So if you've come down from headstand, once you have your breath, take another connecting flow. If you came down from shoulder stand or from legs up against the wall, join me here. Bring your arms under you with your palms flat on the floor. You can also do this if you came. Came down from headstand, obviously. Keep your feet together, roll your shoulders under, let's come into fish pose. Bring the head onto the floor, open your chest, and press your elbows down. And then press into your elbows, slowly lift your head, bring your head back down, bend your knees, and take your arms up from under you. Bring your knees into your chest, circle your knees one direction. And then go the other way. Pull the knees in towards you, take your knees wide, and like a happy baby, pull your knees towards your armpits, towards the sides of your body. You can and then root your tailbone down. Okay. And bring your knees together. With a big hug, wrap your arms around your shins, pull your thighs into your belly, and bring your head to your knees. Release, head in your shoulders down, place your feet down. So, again, always a choice. You can either separate your feet as wide as your mat and bring your knees together, in Shavasana, it's not so fun to come um, with your knees wide because we just want the nervous system to really drop back down. So it's better to bring the knees together or extend the legs all the way forward. Wiggle about until you find that spot that feels super yummy. You can bring right hand to your heart, left hand to your belly or have your arms out by your side with your palms turned open, close down your eyes and start to come into that stillness. And then like we did when we started your practice, notice again now how you feel physically, mentally, energetically with no expectation of this being one way or another just noticing the shift and then when 
as you connected to that, let it go. Know that there's no more work to be done. You can feel relaxed, your body is completely. And so how you just naturally, as you deliberately let go, you just naturally dive into that really quiet space inside. place that feels infinite, that feels expansive, full of peace, full of calm, full of love. That place of our true nature, true way of being. Once you find yourself there, let the mind go for a moment. Just letting everything go. And if you're gonna come up with me, please don't rush. Of course, you can stay here for as long as you need. Always bring your attention back to your breath first before you rush to move your body. And once you've connected with your breath, then reconnect with movement to awaken in your own way. Take a moment always to roll onto your side so you don't shock your body. I love this thing that I read from Indra Devi, one of the first female yogis. And I always remember it, she said, when you watch animals, the only time they jump out of sleep is when it's an emergency. <laughs> so we should be the same. So if you're up with me, close down your eyes for a moment. Acknowledge the effort that you've made to show up, especially in self-practice. So easy to just like run away. So easy to just stop. If you stay to the end, well done. If you just manage to make a bit of time, also well done. Remind yourselves what you were here to do. Namaste. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed that.